Hi, my beautiful Pisces. What's up, you guys? It's Jessica, and it's Trusting True to Roll. You guys already know what time it is on this channel. This is a daily reading. But guys, please be open-minded in these readings. These readings are for several Pisces, not just for one particular Pisces. I know that I'm really fucking good at what I do. So I know that when I speak, I speak with so much conviction and truth that you begin to consume this reading as your own. But this is a general reading. Please understand that, okay? Most of these things are needing to play out. A lot of people come back and say, oh my gosh, yes, it was the truth. So sometimes you have to be open-minded especially with tarot when it's not a personal reading it's 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 not a personal reading you guys okay so be open-minded please open-hearted open-minded please 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 try to be open-minded okay so pisces go ahead and hit that like button and let's get into this reading all right this is going to be a daily reading for january the 22nd 2023 let's see what's popping up here you guys all right thank you guys so much for all your love and support checking out ttt intuitive and thank you guys so much for getting personal readings with me and trusting me with your truth i really appreciate all the love all right so pisces let me tell you here straight up baby baby I love this. You could be dealing with a Taurus, Aries, Libra, any other sign. But either way, for some of you guys, this could be like a boss coming up in your energy, supervisor. Uh, this could be like a father figure. Strong masculine energy coming out here. Um, the emperor here. So look, Pisces, you're coming up out of conflict with someone, okay? You're having a conversation with someone, and I feel like your words are really more of just laying the sword down, you know, not being aggressive. You're really trying to be amicable, and I love that about you. So you're definitely trying to move away from resentment, anger, and hostility here when you're communicating with someone. Now, whoever's coming towards you, Pisces, I feel like this person, um, they definitely respect you. They respect what you're doing. They respect what you're saying. And I feel like this person is coming up like a boss or someone who's like large and in charge, or they're maybe, um, they are coming up as someone who's definitely trying to bring stability to a situation here with you. Uh, I love your choice of words is what I'm picking up. So I love your choice of words. Your choice of words is coming out. is very confident and also assertive, but then also at the same time is bringing about a sense of security and stability, uh, to the situation. So, this is good because whoever this person is, I do feel like this person really wants to move out of some type of tumultuous um, situation here with you. They're trying to find uh, a better way of you know, communicating with you. I feel like this person wants to move to calmer waters here with you. And I feel like this person wants to have a new beginning in love with you. They want to have um, this new opportunity here with you emotionally. So this is really good. This also could be like, like, again, I'm getting father figure. I'm getting a boss. So yeah, someone's really, uh, they respect you. They respect how you're talking or how you're communicating or how your, your, your words. And this is really good Pisces, because this also lets me know that you're not holding on to resent your resentment, whether this person may have been very harsh to you. You're not holding on there. They may have been very harsh words from both sides, but this is really good. This shows the growth in you and the growth in this person. I love that. Okay. This person definitely feels your words. They feel like they're true. Um, they feel very connected to you emotionally. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Yeah. This is the energy of setting the record straight. And I feel like um, your words are really impactful. So what you're saying to this person is very impactful. It's almost like, look, I don't want, if, if I have to be the first one, I'm okay with that. So it's the energy of you taking the first step, you being the first one, you coming towards this person, kind of breaking the ice is what I'm getting. So you're breaking the ice and you're like, look, I'll be the first one to say this. Like, I don't need, you don't need anyone to force you to do this. And you weren't forced to do this. You've done this because you felt like it needed to be done and it needed to be done or it needed to be said very quickly. You you really felt a strong urge and a strong sense of desire to come out of conflict, to be the first one to rectify a situation and make it right. And that makes you the bigger person. That really makes you someone that someone can admire and respect. Okay. Know that about yourself. Okay. And so this person does, they really respect something here that you've done or something that you said. They respect how you came toward, like they respect that you didn't even wait it. Like it didn't even take you three weeks, a month, a year. Like you, you saw 
or you felt or you heard or you realized it and you you quickly corrected it. So you quickly correct yourself, your words, your communication. It's like, okay, this is what I meant. So that's really, that shows a lot about your character um, and about who you are. And I feel like you need to know that this person really kind of, they respect you. They respect that about you. I really love how you really was the one to plant this seed or you were the, you were like, Hey, you know, this is, I need to put this out here. I need to say this, or you, you're being like, you're not being pushy. Are you, it's almost energy. Like you didn't need someone to push you to do this. And that really, that's a, that's, that's like, you were the bigger person is what I'm hearing. I feel like you were the bigger person. And I feel like this person conformed to whatever energy you were putting out there. So, hey, if you were very amicable and understanding and you were trying to come out of um, some type of issue and rectify that, then this person was definitely, um, yeah, they definitely, they, they definitely was willing to, they were willing to like, take this as a moment where also they are learning. So this is a learning moment. It's like, yeah, this is going to be a learning moment for both of you guys so that you can continue to. And Spirit wants, as the advice, Spirit really wants you to, they want you to learn something from this. It's almost like you don't have to wait for someone else to say something. So they're telling me, Spirit wants you to learn something as the advice here, They how you, they want you to come towards this person. Even in the near future, they're saying that even if it's not this person, you can take this with you wherever you go. They it's not, it's nothing wrong with being the first one and breaking the ice when it comes to, you know, communication. Uh, I feel like it will really help you out a lot when you're the first one to plant seeds, when you're the first one to rectify a situation, when you're the first one that comes in, um, with communication, it shows a lot about who you are and your character. Okay. And, and you're also your moral compass, like your inner compass, who you are, your values to yourself. Um, and just, it's effective communication. So anytime you have the desire to rectify any type of conversation or any type of argument, spirit is like, yes, like I'm like, I'm seeing this little, how the person is holding up their hand. It's almost like, you know, being the first one, not waiting for someone else to do this. Okay taking that initiative, going for that. So if you have not made that, if you have not made that decision, if you have not, uh, or if you've been thinking about planting that seed, or if this is something that you want to, you desire to do, they're saying, do it, do it. Be the first one to do this. Don't wait around for someone else to be the first one. What matters is what you do at the end of the day. Okay, Pisces.